to victory in a courtroom to get St. Thomas More High School back on the basketball court. I'm just really happy for our players right now, and that's, that's all I'm thinking about, especially our four seniors. A bench-clearing brawl last Friday led to suspensions and a forfeit that would have ended the Cavaliers' season. A judge's ruling late this afternoon gets them back in the game. Within the hour, we found out when the team will be back in action. Stephanie Haynes joins us live from Whitefish Bay High School, where tonight's game would have been played. Steph? Hi, Steve. That's right. Brown Deer was supposed to take on Dominican right here at Whitefish Bay High School at 7 o'clock tonight. That game is no more because we just learned St. Thomas Moore will host Brown Deer tomorrow at St. Thomas Moore. Following a court hearing Wednesday afternoon, players from the St. Thomas Moore varsity basketball team circled up around their coach. A Milwaukee County judge ruled the St. Thomas Moore team must be reinstated in the state tournament. I'm really happy for our team that we get to play um, in, uh, in particular our four seniors that their season's not over. Following a fight on the court during the team's game with Fuller Academy last Friday, the whole team was suspended for leaving the bench. They then forfeited their next game against Brown Deer. Thomas Moore coach John Hoke tried to appeal with the WIAA, then took them to court. His attorneys took issue with the WIAA suspending the whole team, pointing out five players were already on the court at the time and say video shows some of them walked away from the fight. There were four kids who couldn't have left the bench, five kids that couldn't have left the bench because they were on the court at the time. The attorney for the WIAA said St. Thomas More didn't have to forfeit, and rules are rules. The rule says nothing about intent for good reason, because if we had to litigate every student's intent for leaving the bench to decide whether he had proper intent or intended to start a brawl, um, officials would never be able to make a determination. Then the judge made her decision. St. Thomas More can play. And so therefore I'm going to grant the temporary restraining order. The WIAA responded in a statement that reads in part, quote, as difficult as this situation is for everyone with inherent interest in the outcome, the WIAA has the responsibility to uphold the integrity of the rules of education based athletics as established by the member schools. In the meantime, fans who showed up to watch Brown Deer play Dominican Wednesday night were disappointed. I didn't get no notice and I'm upset. Again, St. Thomas Moore will host Brown Deer tomorrow night at St. Thomas Moore. For now, live in Whitefish Bay, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News.